And now to a special interview with one of the most talked about players in the championship, Brentford striker Ollie Watkins. For our sins, we sent Clinton Morrison <laughs> along to interview him. And Morrison is backing the 24-year-old to get an England call up. Well, he should know. Morrison ended his career at Exeter City just as Watkins was breaking through. But well, Watkins uh, speaks highly of his former manager, Paul Tisdale. But uh, is Morrison trying to take a little too much credit for the player's development? Probably. You decide. <laughs> all right, all. What's going on? What's happening, mate? You good? Yeah, all good. good, all good. I remember when I was at Exeter, I came as an old person, yep, yeah, and you as a youngster. <laughs> but when I came there, I thought, I just knew straight away out of all the youngsters that were there, you was going to be the next big thing, and you've done brilliantly um, you. since you've come to Brentford and stuff like that. But what I want to know is who's been the biggest influence in your career when you was at Exeter? When I was at Exeter, obviously I had a lot of experienced pros like you, Ryan Harley, David Noble helping me, but, but obviously Tiz gave me my opportunity and he didn't really put too much pressure on me. I, he just let me express myself and go out and play. So I've got to say him, really. And what about any of the youth team coaches when you were coming through? Yeah, I had two really good coaches, um, Kev Nicholson and Lee Skirms. Um, they both saw like my ability and believed in me a lot. So they gave me opportunity to express myself like Tiz, but uh, just in the youth team. Right. And you know this season, like you're flying 20 goals. It, unbelievable, joint top goal scorer in the championship. Surely I must get a bit of credit for that, for helping you to <laughs> be that natural number nine. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I remember you saying you've got, always got to stay in the box and it will come to you. But, you know, this year I've, I've adapted and, and learned how to, to get those tapping goals, you know, the easy goals um, that are sometimes the hardest. So, you know, I'm really enjoying it this year and hopefully I can go and score some more goals. Oh, you've got a big game coming up against Leeds. How are you looking forward to that one? You know, it's good. It's, it's good to play the best teams in the league, really. You know, they're up there. It's, uh, it's tight at the top of the table. But um, these are the games I'm looking forward to, you know, trying to prove myself and also the boys um, against a, a big side like this. So we're all looking forward to it and hopefully we can, we can beat them and, and keep this run going. I think if you win that, you've got a great chance of getting promoted. And obviously, the big, the big news around is the new stadium is not, not too long. It's going to be ready soon. How are you looking forward to playing in the new stadium? Hopefully as a Premier League team. Yeah, that would be, that would be the, the dream scenario. But, you know, um, we've got to take each step as it comes and, and uh, take each game as, yeah, like I said, as it comes. So, so hopefully we we're beat them and, and then we go on to the next game and, yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope, he, I hope he don't mind me saying this, but let me tell you something because a lot about this young man. He's one of the most hard... I've been in the game a long time. He, he's the one of the most humble players you'll ever see in a game. He works hard at his game and he deserves everything he's going to get. And I, I did tip him to be a superstar and he will play international football. Remember I said that. Thank you, my man. Cheers, no Rob. Thank you.